Hey guys, it's Alex, aka Gains by Goose. Today's video is just a little life update. I'm gonna talk about vitamins. I've been taking supplements. I'm on my way to the gym now. We're gonna do shoulders and chest. I haven't been doing accessory days like shoulders and chest for a while. I've been powerlifting since like August, uh, September. But for those that don't know, I do have issues with my right hip. I just went to the doctor actually. I'm gonna get x-rays on it and then if we need to, MRIs next. I think that powerlifting has been making my hip issue a little bit worse, so taking a step back, I'm gonna continue benching, but I don't think I'll be squatting or deadlifting for a little bit. I'm still gonna do like squat accessories, like hack squat and whatever, um, but I'm not gonna put, you know, over 200 pounds on a barbell right now. <laughs> Probably won't be deadlifting for a little bit, but I'm gonna continue doing things like RDLs. I was kind of thinking about doing this anyways because I am planning to do another show sometime in the next year, year and a half, and I really wanna be building up my physique. I wanna look so much better than I did last time. I want to look a lot fuller and with powerlifting, while you still do accessories, I just didn't feel like I was putting enough mass on my body. So hopefully with these next several weeks, possibly months of doing like tons of accessories, uh, I can build myself up and look a lot better. Also put in an order for blood work. If there's anything weird about that, I'll talk about it in the next video. But another reason why I wanted to do blood work is because I am starting to take ecdysterone. Here is a bottle. This is from Gorilla Minds, which is actually my new supplement sponsor. You can use code GOOSE for 10% off anything on the website. I've been a really big fan of Derek More Plates More Dates for uh, years I've been watching his videos. I listen to his YouTube videos whenever I have a long car drive. So if you guys do use my code, uh, you can shoot me a DM on Instagram so I can say thank you. It really means the world to me. My sponsors are what allow me to make videos like this for you guys. So if you choose to support me, it'll go right back to you. If you want to learn more about ecdysterone, Derek has made a bunch of videos. Um, about it. The more well-known supplement is turkesterone. Ecdysterone and turkesterone are similar but different. So if turkesterone doesn't really work well for you, then ecdysterone might. If ecdysterone doesn't work well for you, turkesterone might, or they might both work for you or neither one. From what I've seen, turkesterone works really well for men. But I'm really curious to see, I'm gonna log like the before, during, and after of my experience with ecdysterone. I'm starting off with three capsules a day. I'm probably gonna move into four after about two weeks. I'm gonna be cycling this ecdysterone for about two months. And I'm also taking it while I'm gonna be implementing cardio. So it'll be really curious to see if I can maintain strength while losing weight. I'm not going to be going into like a steep deficit. I want to maintain as much muscle as possible and maybe even add more muscle. Um, but I'm definitely going to be like eating a little bit less, prioritizing high protein foods. Right now I'm waking up around 150. Um, I'm 5'9", so. And then I'm planning by June to probably be around like 142, 143. I really don't know how that weight's gonna look on me now. Like a year ago, I used to wake up at like 141. Um, and I was, I was pretty lean, but I don't have a whole lot more body fat now than I did then. I've put on a good bit of muscle and I feel like I carry my fat in like more desirable places, I guess, now that I've gotten older. But I'm trying to take like a few inches off my waist. Um, my legs, like my thighs, really overpower every part of my physique. So maybe like an inch off of the thighs. Get my arms to be a little bit leaner. Um, get my vascularity back. It's not meant to be like a crazy cut. I just haven't been feeling as confident lately. I went on vacation like a week ago and 
I just didn't feel like the most confident ever. But last year when I went on vacation, I was 135 pounds, like in the middle of my bodybuilding prep. So when I was like looking at pictures from last year to this year, I'm like, dang, like <laughs> I just don't, I don't feel that great right now. Like I understand. I still look like perfectly fine. Like if I didn't do a cut or anything, I would be, I would be fine. But I just want to do this. I want to like challenge myself and do something. And I think it'll be a lot easier to drop some weight now that I am doing like mostly accessories in the gym and not so much powerlifting anymore. But if you guys want to take ecdysterone along with me, I'll put a link in the description for it. I strongly advise buying multiple bottles um, of ecdysterone or tricesterone. Like I wouldn't start with just one because you're going to want to take um, like three or four a day. The bottle says take one capsule twice per day, but you can do it like three or four times per day also. Derek recommends that you take this throughout the day, so I keep a log in my phone of what times of day I take it. I'm actually overdue right now. I've got a gorilla shaker. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna keep a log of like where my strength is at right now as I, today's my first day taking ecdysterone. So I'm gonna log my weight progress, my strength progress, and I take pictures every day. So if we'll see if my physique changes at all. I'm really hoping I could do like a recomp like hold as much muscle as possible, lose some fat, just lean out, feel better while maintaining a good amount of my strength. Before I head to the gym, I'm going to just mix up my pre and pump formula. Usually I always take Gorilla's Glycerol and I drink it while I'm driving to the gym, but I forgot it at home today. I'm very sad. That stuff gives you really good pumps and I just feel better when I lift um, like after drinking that. But we have the Gorilla Mode and the Gorilla Nitric today. These are both in black cherry. This flavor is amazing. I'm really sensitive to caffeine now, which is funny. If you follow me for a while and you watch like my prep vlogs, I was talking about how I would consume like a thousand milligrams of caffeine a day. Um, absolutely not anymore. I cannot do that. Um, this is literally like how much pre-workout I'm about to use. Like this pre has 175 milligrams of caffeine for one scoop. And I know like a lot of people use two scoops. Like you guys are crazy for that. I'm going to do half a scoop because I want to have a good lift. And then we're going to do a full scoop of nitrite. This stuff is amazing. I have not gotten a pump in so long and the pumps that I get off of Gorilla are just insane. I did legs this past weekend and I used a full scoop of the nitric and I had the glycerol beforehand and I had to keep standing up because my lower body hurt so freaking bad from the pump. I never used to get like painful pumps. The only place I get painful pumps are my triceps and I hate training triceps because it hurts so bad and I feel like they're just kind of boring. I don't know. Comment what your least favorite like muscle group is to train. I don't know. My triceps are very neglected and I need to switch that because triceps are so like aesthetically pleasing. Anywho, I... Don't think I'm gonna record my workout this time because I forgot a tripod and I don't have someone to like help me record. But if you guys wanna see, I used to post workout videos. If you guys wanna see like updated workouts now that I'm doing more accessories, um, shoot me a comment like what you wanna see. I'm at Power Build Gym pretty often. That gym has insane lighting. So I'll probably be filming more workouts there. Okay, I will see you guys later. Okay guys, that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Hope you enjoyed this little life update. I'll keep you guys posted on the ecdysterone. I'm gonna make another video um, if I have any results, probably in about a month. Also, I'll get back to you guys on the blood work. Uh, I'll probably do one afterwards. Just so you guys know, ecdysterone is not a legit steroid. 
If you have any questions about it, I strongly recommend going to Derek More Plates More Dates channel. He has a bunch of videos on ecdesterone and terkesterone. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to buy anything from Gorilla Mind. Again, you can use my code GOOSE for 10% off. I seriously appreciate the support from you guys. If you liked videos like this, let me know so I know if I should be making more. I know my channel has been kind of like try on hauls lately. I've been super busy and it's hard for me to like sit down and make an actual video. But my goal for this year and especially this summer is to make a lot more content for you guys. If you're not following me on Instagram, you can. It is Games by Goose. I'll leave a link in the description and subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys on the next one.